All right, Adam, so processing the week five loss, you've had a couple days to look back at things and, and really just move past it, I imagine, would be mm -hmm. the key for your team. As one of the veteran members of the Elks defense in particular, how are you helping that process of moving on, looking ahead to Hamilton? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a tough loss, but you can't hang your head on it too long, right? You got to move on to the next week. So we spent our time, did our film on the game, made the corrections we had to, but then it's on to, on to game planning for Hamilton and getting ready for them. And I imagine there was a lot of positives for you guys to take from that game film as well. Obviously only three points until mm -hmm. the, uh, the end of the game there for, for the defense. So mm -hmm. tell me what you did like from that performance. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's been other games too, right, that we've put together really good stretches throughout our games. Um, but just like last week, uh, it's just about finishing these games. You know, we played 57 good minutes, and on the last drive, we kind of gave up uh, a score when we when we couldn't give up a score, right? So it's just about finishing games, just playing a full 60 minutes, not having any lulls or anything in any of the quarters and, and finishing strong. Run defense has been a big topic of discussion, and uh, you got another one coming in, and James Butler who's mm -hmm. going to present a, a solid challenge. Now, can you evaluate the job you did against Saskatchewan and, and sort of what you expect Hamilton's challenge to look like? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Saskatchewan is definitely a run-heavy team, right? They want to try and establish the run, so I thought we did a good job uh, as far as that goes, as far as stopping the run. Uh, and this week's no different. When you have a good one of the top running backs in the league like James Butler, you got to you got to have your eyes on him at all times, being ready to stop the run. And so that's kind of the same focus this week, even though it's a different different offense, different coordinator. You always got to stop the run first and foremost. Uh, when a lot of people are looking at this from the outside calling for change, that hasn't been the case. It's been Chris Jones, you know, steadfast in this group being the one to, to solve uh, the problems and, and to start mm -hmm. putting some wins together here. So when your coach has your back like that, just talk about what that means for the group and, and knowing that this chopping wood meant mentality is eventually going to pay off. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we have a good group here, right? And we felt from the beginning of the year that we do have a really good group. And even though it ha the start hasn't been what we wanted, obviously, it, we still are a confident group. And we know once we get rolling, we're going to be a really tough team and a lot of teams won't want to play us, right? Um, you know, we feel like we could have had a, easily a couple wins this year, but it's just the way the way football goes. But, you know, we we are confident, especially on the defensive side. We're very confident, and uh, everyone else is just, you know, we're all we're all getting better. We're getting there. We're getting closer. So it's just about to coming together as a team and and putting together those wins. That was the busiest stretch of football I think we could have imagined for you mm -hmm. guys. You know, maybe save for the COVID season, but uh, three games in 12 days, five and 25. Was it nice, or is it nice now to have a full week of rest heading into a home game, especially where you're not traveling out? Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, you kind of go for a f those few weeks, you kind of forget what a regular week feels like. So it's definitely nice to have an extra day for your body to recover and uh, get back into the groove and have a couple regular practices as well. Uh, so it's a, it's definitely a big difference having a full week. Yeah, you notice, I would imagine the recovery process, maybe mm -hmm. less so the game planning, but more so in the recovery of the, of the body. And the defense was out there for long, long sessions in the first couple games of the season anyway. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much fatigue may have been a factor in some of these early games. Yeah, it definitely could have been. I mean, um, w whenever you're playing that many games close together, uh, like three games in 11 or 12 days, right, that there's bound to be some fatigue. But uh, you obviously can't use that as an excuse either. We had some games that we could have won, right? So uh, no excuses as far as that. But, it, yeah, it is good to get back to a regular week, yeah. Uh, in addition to the defensive line this week and Sam Achimpong, mm -hmm. uh, what do you know about this player, if anything, other than, of course, his history with Chris Jones? Yeah, I mean, that's what I was going to say. He has a history with Jones, so he knows the defense. He can slide right in, right? And I, I know he is a good player. He's a capable player, so I feel like he'll be able to slide in no problem and help us win a game. Awesome stuff, Adam. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Yeah.